Hey everyone, today we're going to quickly go through the infamous VLOOKUP function in Excel and find out how easy it is to use. So to begin, VLOOKUP stands for Vertical Lookup. It's an index function in Excel and its purpose is to find and return a specific piece of info from a given data table. VLOOKUP requires the data to be arranged in rows because the function searches vertically or up and down through the data table to find a specific set of data that you're looking for. The parameters for VLOOKUP include the data name. So this is the name of the row that VLOOKUP will search for. The next parameter is the table address. Then the next parameter is the column number. This is the column of data that VLOOKUP will return to you. The columns in the table are numbered from left to right starting at 1. Finally, the last parameter is not exact match. So putting false will only return an exact match while true will return an approximate match. And now let's go to Excel to see some actual real life examples. In this first example, let's say I taught a grade five English class and I have a list of names and grades of my students. I'm gonna use VLOOKUP to find me the percentage grade of a student that I choose. So to begin, I'm gonna begin like any function equals VLOOKUP, open bracket, and I'm going to put my parameters in. So the lookup value that I'm looking for is the first column of the name. So let's say I'm looking up Todd. So I'm going to put it in brackets, quotation marks, sorry. The table array, A1 to B7, where the whole table is. The column index. So this is what VLOOKUP will return to me when it finds Todd. So I want it to return to me whatever in row 2. And finally, range lookup. Do I want it to be exact? Of course. So I'm going to put false. I'm going to press OK. And hopefully, if I did this right and vehicle lookup works, it's going to return me 82%. Let's try it one time. Enter. And there it is, 82%. I can just tweak this by putting in a different name. So I've put Todd. Let's say put Anthony press enter, it should give me 78. And that's true. So that's the bare basics of VLOOKUP. A next example, I turn from a teacher to a travel agent and I sell a wide variety of locations or vacations, not location, vacations around the globe. However, I don't remember all of them. I just make packages and I index them like this in no order whatsoever. So if I keep them all on the table in a spreadsheet, I can actually use a little a couple rows at the top of my table to quickly find certain rows. So let's say I have a client. Let's say they're looking for, they show me my advertisement for a seven day vacation in Tuscany. So I'd, I could scroll up and down searching through looking for the seven day vac vacay in Tuscany or I can look at that advertisement that they brought in, find the package ID, and type that in. So, the seven day testing, I look and I see it's 304B. So I put that in, in that top row, and magically, all this changes. And it's all using VLOOKUP. So here's, a, here's, another, here's another purpose or a way you can use VLOOKUP. You have a whole crap load of data that you is that is not organized in any way possible. You could use VLOOKUP to find the certain bits of info that you want. Whether you want to find one piece of info or you want to find a whole line, you could use VLOOKUP. And finally, another use for VLOOKUP is let's say, let's say I like to shop online a lot and I buy so many things or I ship out so many things. Let's say I'm a huge eBay buyer, seller, market, you know, those type of things. So I've, I have a lot of packages coming and going and I want to track them. So I have a spreadsheet and here's all my info. So I ID each package, I weighed them, I have their destination, where they're coming to, where they're coming from and their shipping cost. 
However, I want to know what their status is. So I want to know if they're being shipped. Are they in transit? Have they been received? Have they been signed for? I, have I even shipped them yet? And so, let's say, let's say I, I go through uh, USPS, United States Postal Service. So I request from USPS a, a list of the status of all my packages. And they return it like this. However, I have two, four, six, I have about 10 packages that I sent on my side. But however, they only have six in their identification system or whatever they use. So I want to match the six to my 10. And so VLOOK can do this. Because if I just copy and paste, the IDs won't match for sure. Because I know that four don't have a status right now. So however, this is how it's going to work. I'm going to use VLOOKUP. So I'm going to put equals VLOOKUP. Then I'm going to put the lookup value. So I know the package IDs are always the same. So I'm going to put A2 in there. The table array I'm looking up is this one. The index, I'm looking for status. So column two is where the status is. And finally, the range lookup, I want it to be exact. Of course, I don't want it to round or any thing crazy like that. So I'm going to put false. I'm going to press OK. And the first answer is not an A. That means no package ID starts with that in there. And that's true. I can already see it. So I could do this individually for each of these packages. However, we learned a faster way. We can copy the whole formula down with a couple of changes. So all I need to know is know which parameters are relative. A2, that's going to be relative. My table is not going to be relative. So to make sure you make your table always stay still. Number two, yep, 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 everything's else the same. Okay, press OK. Drag it down. And there you go. So I should have six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go. That's really how easy it is. So I can have a bunch of mixed up things in the table and I can have the same thing in a different table and I want to transfer it over, you could easily use VLOOKUP to do that. So anyways, there I, this is three different ways to use VLOOKUP. You could either do it the regular way, really how the bare bones of the form of the function. You could do it as you have a huge crap load of data that you're only looking for one piece and you only know one piece of info and you want to find the rest vlookup for that or you can actually use vlookup to expand tables to make tables bigger to consolidate all different types of tables into one to really make it organized and anyways that's the start of the basics of vlookup my name's adam i'm from adamly media leave any comments any questions you have below Subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in a different video. Thanks.